Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen. We have another viewer call in today. Now, if you have a question, remember to call 866-581-0221. Leave your question on the voicemail and we'll see if we can get to you. Hi, Mr. Excel. Uh, my name is Ethan, Virginia. And I wanted to find out if there was a way to rank a column, but when ranking it to exclude certain uh, data points, Okay, well, hey, Ethan's call was uh, sort of garbled there at the end, but basically he wants to set up a rank function that excludes certain data points. Now, I'm not sure exactly how his data is set up, but I can imagine that he has region here and sales in column C, and basically if it's a government sale, he doesn't want it to be included in the rank. Now, I have to admit, I took a look at this, and I realized that it was something that I did not know how to do. So my tip today is really to plug the Mr. Excel message board. Let me switch over to Mr. Excel. I went to MrExcel.com and clicked on the message board link. Now, the very first time you go here, you have to register. It's free. Um, don't worry, we're not going to spam you. I don't have time to spam you or anything like that. And go into the Excel questions forum. Once you're in the Excel questions forum, you'll want to post a new topic. Now, when Ethan's question came in, I went out to the message board and I posted a topic with a subject line of conditional rank. And basically, I explained my situation um, and posted that question to the message board, you'll see that it was around 5.58 and it took about 22 minutes. Um, Tom Ernest, one of my friends from uh, the Bay Area, came along and Tom gave me the formula. I have to admit, I still don't understand how this works, but I guess that's not really relevant. I copied the formula, went back to Excel, pasted it in, copied it down, and sure enough, the thing works. It ignores the government regions and gives me the function. I have to admit, the message board and the community of people there are absolutely amazing. Any sort of a question that you can get, post the question, and even if it's the hardest thing that you've seen all year, someone very quickly will come up with the answer. So, thanks to Ethan for calling in. Thanks to Tom at the board for providing this answer. Bottom line, Ethan, go out to the message board, search for conditional rank, copy that formula over, and you'll be good to go. For anyone watching this, if you have a really hard question in Excel, go to the message board. It's absolutely free. Over 30,000 questions a year are answered. Fantastic resource. I highly recommend it. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another podcast from Mr. Excel. Mm -hmm.